Learning Objectives After completing this module, learners will be able to define gender division, discuss women's political representation, explain religious and politics, describe communalism, explain secular state, analyze and explain caste inequalities. Gender and Politics Gender division refers to the discrimination against women that considers women as inferior to men and incapable of doing certain tasks considered to be the preserve of men. Thus, political expression of gender division and political mobilization has helped improve women's role in public life. Women in India face discrimination, oppression and disadvantage in various ways. For example, the literacy rate among women is only 54% whereas it is 76% among men because a small portion of girl students go for higher studies while mostly all men have access to higher studies. The proportion of women is very small among the highly paid and valued jobs. The Equal Wages Act states that equal wages should be paid for equal work. But in most areas of work, women are still paid less than men even when both do exactly the same work. Sex selective abortion in India has led to a decline in child sex ratio, number of girl children per thousand boys in the country to merely 919. Various kinds of harassment, exploitation and violence against women is reported both the public and private sphere. Religion and Politics Women's Political Representation The proportion of women in legislature has been very low in India. In Lok Sabha, the percentage of elected women members is 10% of its total strength, whereas their share in the assemblies is less than 5% and under the Panchayati Raj system, one-third of seats in panchayats and municipalities are now reserved for women. The government and judiciary has taken various steps to improve women participation in politics. For example, it is made compulsory by the court to have a fair proportion of women in the elected bodies. Political parties have started giving representation to women members also. Women organization and activists have been raising a similar demand of reservation in Lok Sabha and state assemblies as well. Their aim is to reserve at least one-third seats in the Lok Sabha and the state assemblies for women. This proposal has been pending before the government for more than a decade. Religion and Politics The division based on religious differences are not as universal as gender, but religious diversity is present everywhere in the world today. Gender differences are not expressed in politics, whereas religious differences are often expressed in the field of politics. Gandhi believed that religion can never be separated from politics. In India, most of the victims of communal rights are the people from religious minorities. These people demand the government to take special steps for the protection of religious minorities. Movements led by women demand that the family laws such as marriage, divorce, adoption, inheritance, etc. of all religions should not suppress against women. Communalism and Secular State Communalism a situation when a particular community tries to promote its own interest at the cost of other communities is called communalism. The basic idea of communalism states that 
religion is the main basis of social community and the followers of a particular religion with the same fundamental interests must belong to one community communalism can take many forms in politics for example religious prejudices stereotypes of religious communities and belief in the superiority of one's religion over other religions are commonly experienced dominance of one's own religious community is the major demand of communalism communal dominance can take the following forms depending on the strength of community majoritarian dominance for the people belonging to majority community desire to form a separate political unit for the people belonging to the minority community political mobilization on religious lines involves special appeal to the interests or emotions of voters of one religion in preference to others by using sacred symbols religious leaders etc sometimes communalism can take the form of communal violence riots and massacre example india and pakistan experienced large scale communal violence during partition secular state the major challenges to democracy in india since independence is communalism therefore the makers of our constitution chose the model of a secular state for india the constitution reflects india's model of secular state in the following ways india does not recognize any religion as official religion unlike sri lanka pakistan and england which regard buddhism islam and christianity respectively as their official religion the constitution of india provides all the people and communities freedom to practice profess and propagate any religion or not to follow any the constitution prohibits discrimination on the basis of caste gender color and religion the constitution allows the inter caste inequalities caste systems caste system is a social division based on occupation but later turned into based on birth those who had taken over low paid jobs were termed as low castes the so called lower castes face exclusion and discrimination in the hands of other caste groups they were subjected to the inhuman practice of untouchability with large scale urbanization economic development occupational mobility growth of literacy and education and the weakening of the position of landlords in the villages the old notions of caste hierarchy are breaking down the constitution of india bans any caste based discrimination and lays the foundations of policies for reversing the injustices of the caste system caste inequalities caste inequality is one of the kinds of social inequality in which people are discriminated against on the basis of origin or caste it is the basic constituent of caste system caste inequality is both hierarchical and segmentary the most detrimental aspect of the caste inequality is the practice of untouchability caste in politics caste can take various forms in politics three forms of caste politics in india are while choosing candidates while forming a government while campaigning while choosing candidates when parties choose candidates in elections they keep in mind the caste composition of the electorate and nominate candidates from different castes so as to get necessary support to win elections while forming a government when the government is formed 
political parties usually ensure that representatives of different castes and tribes find a place in it while campaigning. During elections, candidates and political parties make appeals to people who give them their votes on the basis of caste. Universal Adult Franchisee and the principle of one person, one vote has forced the political leaders to highlight the caste-based issues during elections in order to mobilize and secure political support. It also brought new consciousness among the people of castes that were treated as inferior and low. Sometimes, the ruling party and the sitting MP or MLA often lose elections in our country. This happens when all castes and communities do not stick to their political preferences. Politics in Castes Positive Role of Caste in Politics In some situations, expression of caste difference in politics gives many disadvantaged communities the space to demand their share of power. Caste politics has helped people from the Dalit and OBC castes to gain better access to decision-making. Several political and non-political organizations have been demanding and agitating for the end of discrimination against particular castes, for more dignity and more access to land, resources and opportunities. Negative Role of Caste in Politics It disrupts social harmony. It can divert attention for other pressing issues like poverty, corruption, etc. Politics Influence on Caste Politics Politics too influences the caste system and caste identities by bringing them into the political arena. Thus, it is not that gets caste-ridden, it is the caste that gets politicized. Politics and caste normally takes the following forms. White Base Each caste tries to widen its base to gain majority. Each caste group tries to become bigger by incorporating within it the neighbouring castes or sub-castes which were earlier excluded from it. Coalition Various caste groups are required to enter into a coalition with other castes or communities and thus enter into a dialogue and negotiation. This strengthens the basic structure of democracy. New Groups New kind of caste groups have come up in the political arena like backward and forward caste group. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Gender division refers to the discrimination against women that considers women as inferior to men and incapable of doing certain tasks considered to be the preserve of men. A sexual division of labor is experienced in human society. Very little contribution of women is seen in public life, especially politics. Political expression of gender division and political mobilization has helped improve women's role in public life. In India, the proportion of women in legislature has been very low. The percentage of elected women members in the Lok Sabha is 10% of its total strength. Their share in the state assemblies is less than 5%. Under the Panchayati Raj system, one-third of seats in panchayats and municipalities are now reserved for women. Gandhi believed that religion can never be separated from politics. Most victims of communal rights in our country are people from religious minorities. They have demanded that the government take special steps for protecting religious minorities. Women's movement demands that the family laws of all religions should not discriminate against women. 
caste division special to India. Caste system was based on exclusion of and discrimination against the outcast groups. They were subjected to the inhuman practice of untouchability.